channel about that much. My name is Eva and I'm so glad that you have found us. Today is a top up everything day where I have to top up my sugars and all sorts and I'm going to show you how I make my reusable wet wipes, um, cleaning wipes to clean my kitchen and that with run out of that so that needs to be done as well so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing us bringing out your content all the time and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and now we're going to jump straight into this vlog all right first up let's get this underway we have all my cloths that i'm going to be using i got these ages ago from Ikea, I think they were 25 pence each. And I sort of just roll them like so. We are going to put one cup of isopropanol alcohol Into that, we're going to put some tea tree and peppermint oil, essential oils. About 15 20 of each one, just so they smell nice. Then we're going to add some just some water and start adding the cloth. Push them down. Just they soak everything up. Okay, and that's basically it. So it's probably about a cup, maybe one cup, two cups of water, one to two cups of water. That's all. On top of that. And then on top of this, I've got to do my sugars. This is a weekly job. And the day I'm filming this is Friday. You will see it on the Monday. So I like to make sure for the weekend we've got everything topped. And I'm just topping up my vanilla sugar. And if you want to know how to make vanilla sugar, just get one vanilla bean, cut it in half, stick it in a jar, Put some white sugar on top, give it a shake, and then you have vanilla sugar. It's that easy. And when you start running low on the sugar, just keep topping it up. That vanilla bean will flavour that sugar for absolute ages, months and months. So that's that. need to chop up my cinnamon sugar and all that is is again really easy it's sugar and then some cinnamon powder on top and 
and we just keep that one topped up as well. We always have several sugars on. We have cinnamon sugar, vanilla sugar, white sugar, demerara sugar, and our own brown sugar. And the sugars that I use, need, I have organic pure black strap molasses is what I use. Now I need a wooden spoon. Okay, if you've never seen me do this before, it is so easy. You can't really go wrong. The brown sugar is a load of white sugar and then you're just going to tip some molasses and the great thing about making your own brown sugar, you can't mess it up because if you put too much molasses in you just have more white sugar if you don't add enough molasses in it's too light you just add more in so it's not something you can really muck up So you can have your brown sugar as light or dark as you want it. Now you've had a very busy week this week. I should fill you in on some of that I expect. Um, I've been working on making some room in my kitchen so I'll show you that in a bit I'm going to add a little bit more molasses to this um, the meals this week we have had Last night I had some chicken and a load of salad and a bread roll. That was dinner. The night before we had pulled pork. Then, crikey, what else have we had? They've all been again from the pantry. got to shred my chicken actually and get that put in the slow cooker to start my stock off I need to do that right let me bring you back when I've got this finished okay as you can see that is all mixed in nice. We can now put it in the jar. So easy to do. But also, not only have I had a busy week, I've had a bit of a disastrous week. Oh my goodness, I don't want another week like this. <laughs> put it this way. Things could go wrong. They went wrong. Okay, there's that. Okay, 
brown sugar all done, ready for the weekend. Okay, let's talk about the disastrous week we've had. You know my Kenwood mixer that was here? Yeah, I was doing bread and it went bang and a load of smoke came out. Yeah, so that died a horrible death. I did go to the farm to get us some eggs this last week. We get a tray of those and at the same time I actually brought six duck eggs as well. They're great for cake making. So on top of my mixer that was would have been my great aunt she's about 70, 80 years old. My TV decided to not work as well. So yeah. That was yeah, that was that was something, that really was. So not quite sure how the low spend February's going because it, it it's not going. <laughs> One there's no way am I gonna replace the mixer. Um I haven't got three or four hundred pounds spare to replace that. I've bought a second hand TV. Um it cost me forty pounds just to let my kids have something to watch. So yeah. It's not quite going uh, as planned. But you know, on another note yeah, that happened. All oh, this was piled high and it's where the Christmas tree was. I had a little unit here. That's all gone. I've still got these that I've got to sort out. They're my spare jars and things of the like. That is all spare containers and plastic baskets and that. So that's got to be sorted. That's also my handbag there as well, my walking stick. But yeah, I can now get to these better. So that's good. As you can see, we've got a lot of food. You wouldn't believe we have been going through all of this. I know it's hard to believe, but we have. So there's that. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's doing a lot of the same things, but these things need to be done each week. Um, it's like the sugars I always do on a Friday, so everything is sorted for the weekend. And then we start afresh on a Monday. And I'm hoping not to break anything else. Um, yeah. My goodness. TV. Then my Kenwood Chef. Now my peeler. Like, oh, I'm done. Way to go for a low spend in February. Uh, I will probably call the low spend in February off. I think that's what I will do. I say, no, we're not doing it. From now on, what I have got to do that I've got to show you is the £1.50 pantry challenge. I'm going to do that right now. Okay, for this this week's £1.50 pantry challenge, I hit Tesco's and it's the baked beans and pork sausages, a chicken soup and sweet corn, and that was £1.50. So that's that done. So maybe next week I'll show you how much is piling up because it's quite quite a lot. So I think that's it for this vlog. Okay, so as you can see, we're doing doing really well with the one pound fifty pound challenge. But as I said, I'm going to call off the three rivers challenge for us for now because this February has just been a complete disaster from right at the beginning. Um, so I think it's easier if I say stop now because things need to be replaced and things need to be worked around so it's not ending up as a low spend. 
but saying that because I did the low to no spend January I've been able to manage to um, get a second hand TV for £40 which isn't too bad at all and there's something else in the works but I can't show you I probably probably all come together at the beginning of March so that's exciting that is coming your way um, and I wouldn't have been able to do that without doing the low to no spend so that I am so excited on that I'm not going to tell you or show you until March so the beginning of March is roughly when it all sorts itself out so that's it for this vlog and that's it for the Three Rivers Challenge um, I've enjoyed it I will do it again next year and hopefully next year works a little bit easier for us for the January and February but at least we managed January and the first week into the second week into February my goodness yes it is a second it's a tenth today so yeah two weeks into February so we're only calling it off two weeks early so that's fine it's done what we needed to do I've worked through so much food which is great so I can now just concentrate on just carrying on with that working through the food and rotating it and still eating from my pantry which is what we do anyway because sometimes I just don't feel like going shopping why would I Arms aching. Oh, sorry, guys. Arms aching. So, yeah. So, we, we worked for our country anyway, but with the Three Rivers Challenge, it does allow us to work through and be much more intentional, which is always good. It's good to be intentional. So, that's it for this one, and I will see you on the next one. So, Bye, take care.